Welcome to Atticon Plays Railway Empire. All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to another Railway Empire video. Yes, I did say Railway Empire. I'm in the mood to play a little bit, and I want to continue our Back to Basics series. And I want to apologize, first of all. I kind of just stopped doing them, uh, the Back to Basics series, just because I was so PO'd at myself. I hated that first thing I did about Metropolis, where I did Don Lorenzo. I, did, I just despised it. I hated everything about it. So we're going to start over. We're going to pretend that never happened. I'm going, to, I'm going to delete it, even though I've got like 200 and some likes on it and everything else. I'm going to take it down. But um, I want to go back and do Metropolis, which is medium rated. And we're going, I'm going to do each one of these, if I do any more of them, as I keep going, I'm going to do them with what I think is the best character for each one. The absolute best character. So, Your search is for this one, we have to you grow a city, which means we have to uh, hey, take, a good idea. handle a lot of freight. That's Stone Lorenzo. Something we have to have control our industries because we have to have a couple of requirements around industries. That's Roger. Doc is always good because of cheap engines, but God bless it. The lady's just off the charts good. She's off the charts. So uh, we're going to use the lady. All right. So I want to go through this, kind of walk through it once and just take a look at it quickly, come up with our strategy. Then we'll, I'll reload it and we'll start. So. That's why what I we're going to do with the lady the is we're going to do a rapid expansion lady style, which is Passenger Express, uh, Passenger Mail Lines all over the place. And I'm also going to go in and turn off the characters. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Okay, I turned off the dudes talking down here and our competitors. Uh, there's a point, it's it's cool when you first start playing, there's a point where it's irritating. I'm way past that point. Okay, so let's knock this thing down first. Get our money back. So we got $1.1 million. What are we going to do? We are going to absolutely try to build a huge footprint, a fairly large footprint, so that we lock up a bunch of cities, certainly the whole Northeast here, so that our competitors will stay out of our way. Uh, we want that for two reasons. Number one is you just want that. You do not want your competitors coming in and building over top of you and making everything more complicated. You want the cities for yourself because that's where the money is. That's where the customers are. And uh, in this particular scenario, I, I, I don't mean to be critical, but I do think the developers screwed up here. This one I think of as the first scenario, right? I think of this one, you know, the East 1830, I think of this as the, guy, the, the first one you would do after you do the campaign. Now, maybe they didn't intend it that way, and maybe they, people would start in the West or the Midwest or whatever. But I, I always think of the thought of this as the first scenario, and it's hard. This, this one's hard. And uh, the biggest thing is the competitors are hyper aggressive in this one. So we're going we're gonna to shut that down right away. So let's, let's just start playing. That's the other, another thing I, I hated about the other videos. I just talked and talked and talked and didn't do anything, which I do anyway. You know, I'm going to do that a lot anyway. But I, I just really did it uh, to an extreme in, in, uh, in that last try at this. So, okay. So remember what we're trying to do is have is make a, a large footprint with uh, passengers now I want to get this as I want to get this close to that because I want to be able to put a warehouse maybe maybe we'll see over here that catches that I will see we'll see but let's just uh, kind of there we go that looks pretty good so we're so now um, so first thing I'm going to do this is uh, this is a little weird for me. But uh, we're just going to lay a single piece of track. No, 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 we're not. I, I, no, we're not. I take that back. Forget I said that. We're going to double track. We're going to stick with our principle. If two cities are worth connecting, they're worth double tracking. They're worth running trains on. They're worth making money. So I was going to show you with the lady, you can actually run single train uh, lines with single track and use the, you know, take the money you save on track to create more. Uh, uh, lines and and connect more cities and it, it works out pretty well but no we're not going to do that 
So passenger and mail only, because we want this as fast as we can get it, this dedicated line. We're going to say, we're going to even going to tell it, go out of track one. Notice I'm not using super stations. I'm going to use regular train stations, going to passenger and mail from one to one, and I'm going to just fire off one, two, three, four. So there, we've got, we've got a nice passenger mail line going between New York and Albany. Now we're going to use our rapid expansion, and we're going only the difference is in rapid expansion that's a passenger line, not a not a auto line, which would be normal uh, rapid expansion. So now, remember this is lady style. So now we're going to go up and get it our next city. We're going to hook it to our new our new station, uh, like so. That looks good. Double track it. and put in our signals. We have junctions at both ends. We'll put in our signals like so. Uh, let's put a supply tower maybe down toward this end. And we're gonna set up a passenger and mail line between these two. And I'm gonna alter that and I wanna, just in case it comes back later, I'm gonna go back and uh, specify which lanes I want them to use. So that's one two three four and four should fill it up since one was 25 percent all right so now we want to just keep expanding so we're going to put in a small train station in another small train station in syracuse back to back go over here to buffalo hook those two up Oh, that looks awfully good, except for that bridge. There we go. Double track that. We're going to need money. So we'll go ahead and open up the two biggest bonds we can. And double track this back. Um, let's do um, let's do a supply tower here and we'll set up a passenger mail only line between here and here and we'll go from track one to track one and one two three four and that'll do that and then we're going to go from Buffalo we're going to put in another station back to back. And we're going to run down here to Pittsburgh. And we will connect those two stations. Double track that. Set up our signals. Put a supply tower, I think, up here at this end. I'll explain the at this end stuff later. Okay. And we're going to do a passenger and mail line from here to here. And we need to let this run and make some money. And we'll run four trains here. Let's see what we've got. Bandit, Professor, Mediator. Kind of want to stay away from Professor. I want to stick with uh, Research if I can. Although Professors early on can give you some money. It is kind of nice, I must say. But I think money's going to quickly become a not too big an issue for us. Three. And four. Okay. 
So now let's take a look here. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five cities connected. Now what we want to do here is actually we're going to run a line over here because our competitor here, whoever that is, the yellow one, will build Toledo. We might as well take advantage of that and get, well, we need some money. We, we, we'll take advantage of that and get some, um, uh, you know what, we need some money. Shoot. Don't wait. Get money. Okay. So we'll put a small train station in here. It's Trixie. And we'll run it over here and connect it into um, Pittsburgh. We'll need another train station over here. Now the reason, and why would you put a second train station? Because again, we want to block Trixie from coming over this way. We want her, we want, if you can only have two stations in a city, so we've now locked up Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is ours. Thank you very much. So let's uh, go around that cornfield. Ah, shoot. Uh, we need to go, we actually need to, we need, need to kind of go around her a little bit. Around her track, like that should work. Okay. Oh, a market crier. We definitely want market criers with the lady because we can set them on comfort and have more passengers. And of course, we're getting lady bonuses uh, for passenger traffic, so we should be making pretty good money from these little lines. Yeah, you can already see our money's racking back up. We've already finished something. Ooh, we definitely want this for more passengers in each city. All right, good deal. So we got our five express trains. All right, good. I didn't think that would be a horrible problem. Forgot how much that cost. Two oh five. So we need like four or five, four hundred thousand or something. Not quite that much, but close. All right. Well, here's a good way to make some money if we can. If we can ex access our competitors, and I think we can. Oh, we can. Good. All right. So what we want to do here is buy. We've got an analyst. So what we want to do is buy. Slow this down, and go out here to our competitors and buy as much of one of them as we can. So we'll buy $273,000 worth of Don Lorenzo. And then we'll just let it run for a few seconds. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, we'll go get our analyst and we'll say increase the share price of Don Lorenzo. Okay. And then we'll let it run for a few seconds. Da, 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 da. And then we will go back here and we'll go to Don Lorenzo and we'll sell everything and you notice we sold it we bought it for 250 and we sold it for 400 so good now we got some cash all right so uh, there we go so we um, built that line we're going to double track it and run a bunch of trains Now let's, it's a good long line. Let's give it a couple of towers. Uh, need a little more money. And then we'll set up a passenger mail line from Pittsburgh 1 to Toledo 1. And give them a conductor. One, two, three. And since this one's long, we'll go to the trouble of going back here and setting the line coming back the other way. One, 
two, three. We completed another task, 20 trains. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be much of a problem. Okay. So there we go. And you can see our money just keeps racking back up. The lady's just unbelievable. Okay, so we've got Pittsburgh blocked off. We've got Buffalo blocked off. We're connected to her, so we're not going to see other competitors come up this way. We're not going to see Trixie expanding this way. And we'll do some more stuff to make sure that she stays blocked off. Now, question is, do we? now we've got to think about clothing. Because that's the task we've got to get here. Uh, we've got to grow New York, obviously, but this clothing is hard. The liquor is hard to get, to get a perfect score on. So what we want to look at is here, uh, we've got Syracuse has grown. It now has a spot. So let's pause this for a second. Now Syracuse, this is interesting. Syracuse has an industry spot. It has cotton right there. We could make textiles in Syracuse. And then we would want to send them somewhere to like clothing, like Baltimore, to um, make our clothing that we would then ship to uh, New York. Because that's our big task is ship all that clothing to New York. So, oh, have we finished our lady style rapid expansion? Not really. I really want to knock off maybe Baltimore and Washington and make sure that nobody from the South comes up at us. So that we got a couple options. There's a there's an open slot in Baltimore. We could put meat in Baltimore, run cattle over there, and then run the meat to New York, which they definitely need. We definitely need to do that from somewhere. We've also got meat in Buffalo and Pittsburgh that are uh, available for us. Huh. Huh. All right, let's stop and decide. How do we want to, what design are we going to use for our freight? Do we want warehouses? Do we not want warehouses? I know I'm kind of the warehouse guy. I've got the whole series on how to use warehouses. They are great, but I don't use them in scenarios very much because of the cost and the waiting on them to get set up when you can just ship the goods directly in if you know how to do it and you just start getting paid for it right away and everything's great. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run. Uh, let's see, we're the lady, so we're not going to get cheap factories. What's it going to cost? 400. Let's wait till we have 400,000 and we're going to try to take advantage of that spot and put a textile factory in Syracuse. Hopefully nothing will get built there before we can uh, gain 400,000. And in fact, we can look at, remember our, one of our rules is if you can pay off a bond for less than the money you're trying to save, pay off the bond and open a bigger bond. So we'll just sit right here, close one of these bonds. And look at the money. She just, you know, the lady is awesome. A meat, oh, do we want to buy that in? No, we don't want to own it because it's already there. We don't. Okay, we're gonna pay off this bond. We can open one for 398. So I'm gonna hold off until about now. Slow down. Uh, let's open a bond for 400. Okay. And then let's go. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> Bless you. Someone put the weaving factory in there anyway. I didn't know if that would happen or not. That's even better. If, if we were Doc, we'd want to own it ourselves. But eh, nah, that's great. So what we're going to do is say, okay, great. We've got the weaving. So now let's expand this station. And let's go out here, get a small station out here at the uh, <laughs> at the strange location for cotton. I mean, think about that. They're growing cotton in upstate New York. I don't know how that works, but apparently it does. And we'll probably run a couple of trains, a couple of trains in there. Okay. So let's give them some signals. Put a, gotta put a tower in the middle of it, and then we're gonna set up t two trains to run full down here with cotton. Okay, now that cotton needs to go to Baltimore, all the way over here if we're gonna use that as our um, 
cotton producer or our clothing producer and why wouldn't we um, since it already exists so let's let's uh, open up another line here and then we're going to go from here yep over here to Baltimore Need a small train station in Baltimore that we can turn this way and move it back away from the cliffs and the river, like so. Plug into that, and then what we're going to do is come up here along this valley. We'll do this like a real train would. We're going to drive along the river valley. Kind of like that. Now we could avoid two bridges here. It would be nice if we could just go like this. Like this. Now look at that. No tunnels, no bridges all the way to Baltimore for 183 grand. That's that's a deal. That is a deal. All right. So now we're going to run a line that goes to Baltimore. Need 181. Uh, more mail profit, sure. And we need to re up, replace all of our trains. And we'll worry about maintenance later after we get this thing rocking and rolling. Okay, so now we can set up Line coming in. I'm going to put a supply tower kind of at each end. And then we're going to set up a line. This is going to be an automatic line from Syracuse. Track two to Baltimore, track one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if somebody's wondering, how does he know how, how many to run? I'm just eyeballing it. Just, you know, I, I've got videos out there about route optimization. I would advise you to go watch those, but I'm, I'm eyeballing it. I've played this game too much. Okay, so now we should have beer. Well, actually, we're going to have beer for a little bit going to Baltimore, but that's going to dry up because we're not running uh, grain in there. So that that's just the initial beer storage that the, game, that the industry started with. That'll dry up soon enough. So now... What we want to do is get Baltimore going to New York. And, okay, the first thing we'll do is let it run a bit, get us some money. And we'll put in a station here. And start the track going over in the direction of New York. And we'll put in okay. Small train station here. And connect our line like so.
Okay, and this, and this is why I'm doing, I didn't go straight to Baltimore, 389000 And it's it's hard to get it much cheaper than that. You can do a, we can finagle it a little bit, but that's actually, that's better. Let's, that, that is better. Take it up here where it's got less of a, um, less of a slope. What happens if I get rid of this? Three twenty-five. I think that'll have to do. Okay, and let's improve our freight revenue. Spy we want. Conductor we definitely want too. Uh, go see if you can get something from Don Lorenzo. And let's take one of our long lines like this one here. And put a conductor on it. I already got one. Put one on here. Okay. Alright. We've got our line started. We want it double tracked. We could uh, cut it off before that bridge, but I want to—I don't want them waiting too long. It'll be faster. It'll cost a little make to double the bridge, but the second side of the bridge is not as expensive as the first, and I want them to be able to get in there as close as they can to the action. Uh, promoter. Oh, this is—we really need this because we're taking a chance on delaying really focusing on growing um, New York uh, track signals double track we'll get a tower in here and one over here. Now we're going to set up a line. This will be an automatic line between track one here and track one here. One, two, three. Ah, I want, God, I want everything. I want this for sure, more passengers, and I want that promoter that I saw that just popped up. Let's get him. We'll put another promoter on New York. Okay. And then we'll look at this. Three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, so now we've got that going. The other thing we could, ah, uh, they put a sawmill in here. Doggone it. It's a little slow. I would have loved to have gotten the meat into New York, uh, to Baltimore, which I think I might do anyway. I might buy that sawmill, knock it down, because it has no purpose, because you've got the stuff coming from New York. Um, knock this down, and then connect this cattle into, into it. Um, and over here, we've got a connection bonus, 158,000 to connect, oh, wow, all right. So we'll take that. We'll put in a small train station in Washington. And we will build a little line like uh, I don't I don't want tunnels and bridges on this. There we go. Like so. We're going to give that a supply tower and just run a single train, passenger mail only. What do we complete? 
oh, we've got our 25 active trains that are highly profitable. Um, what am I trying to do? Set up a rail line between Baltimore 2. No, no, no. That's not right. We need to expand the station and then connect from here to there. And set up a line between Baltimore 2, track 2, and Washington, track 1. Passenger mail only and add our one little train. And then we're going to get the John Bull and we're going to upgrade all of our 1.1 million we're going to make all our trains into uh, John Bulls. We're also going to get this market crier because that again that's we can do comfort and get more passengers. Notice there are our express lines we're about to lose them because with the John Bulls out there but we're going to fix that in just a minute. Even if we have to go Re repay a bond, repay a bond, open a bigger bond, open a bigger bond, slow down a little bit, get our John Bull, upgrade all of our trains to John Bulls. So now we've got faster trains running. We've got, um, so they'll make more money on all these passenger lines. They'll haul freight much better. So all is improving now so what we need to do now is buy this sawmill that shouldn't be doing great hopefully our competitors are not going to be interested in or won't have the cash to fight us okay knocking it down is going to be 240 and then replacing it's before so we're going to need about 600 grand before we can make this next move and I'm hoping I am not screwing this up. Okay, we're going to, we're going to put a museum in um, New York to up up the growth. Oh, we've already hit the growth. All right, good. We've hit that first number. All right, we're we're looking better. And we've started getting dribbling clothes into New York. Okay, so this is getting better, getting better. All right. Uh, So I, we need four, about 600. So let's just let this run for a bit. Now the way we grew it with these promoters. Without the promoters, we would have had to have run, to spend more time running some, uh, you know, logs and corn and what have you into, uh, well, corn and grain especially, and stuff like that, meat and cattle, or meat and beer into New York, but we've gotten away with it because we've gotten several promoters. So that's, we're just taking advantage of that. Okay, so we're getting, closing in on 600 here. I wanna make sure I have enough to, when I knock that down, I don't wanna have a delay and then lose that slot to a computer owner and he'd put the wrong thing in there. All right. So now we can knock down our sawmill, which is actually making us money, and we're going to replace it with a meat industry. It's only 300000 Good deal. They're giving them away. All right, so we'll put a meat industry out there on the edge of Baltimore, and then we'll set up uh, deliveries. Now, how are we going to do that? Mm -mm -mm. We've got... Um, I think what we'll do is expand this station. So we're going to wait till we have a little more cash. We're going to expand this station to full size. And then we're going to knock down some track. And we're going to convert this into a full use, use all four kind of a deal. So we'll reconnect these. Then we'll do a quick connection like so from the outer tube back into the inner tube and we'll put an X junction in front of them like so. 
Now with that, you'll be able to use all four um, stations coming this way from the New York side. We'll reset our, our signals, make sure we can get sneak up there as close as we can. Now they can use all four um, tracks. We've got one very busy track and some not so busy. All right, so now we want to set up our line like so. Now what we could do here, I mean, we could obviously, I mean, this is a, well, this is, if this was a dedicated passenger mail line that was making us a lot of money, we would go to the expense of building more bridges and stuff and have a totally separate separate line. But because, but it's not. It's not. It's an automatic line, so, so I think we're just going to take the easy way here and just connect up into our existing track because it's not overly busy. It's It's got trains on it, but it's not overly busy. And hook into our station like so. And we'll get rid of that short block right there where we merged. And then we're going to say set a line, run full into Baltimore, use track three because it's it's not busy. With a John Bull and a security guard. One, two, three, ought to do it, I think. 28 days, yeah, it should be good. Now we'll start getting meat here and we'll get meat started shipping over to, to uh, New York. And if you notice, New York has a third industry and I'll tell you what, <laughs> if that had happened, if I'd known that, if I'd been thinking about that, I would have just put, um, I would have put the meat industry in New York directly and then just run the cattle over there and we'd be done with it. But that's okay, we can get paid for shipping it here and get paid for shipping it back over there. And we're making a little money on the meat industry too. All right, so um, why don't we stop right there? That's probably a good place. So, so we have set up a big, a pretty good size footprint. We're making good money. I mean, the lady just, uh, huh, the money's ridiculous. Uh, and what we haven't done really is grow New York. It, it grew some from promoters. And now we've got meat going in there. We've got to get the beer next. We've got to get Albany. We've got to get grain going to Albany or here, wherever we decide to do it to get our um, beer going in. And then we gotta get a bunch of raw material. So we'll deal with that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.